Hello everybody, today we're going to learn how to add a video inside an augmented reality application for the Google Cardboard. And I made this video because when I was building my own application, it was very difficult for me to find accurate information and updated information. So I decided to make my own tutorial. Now, there is Unity for Linux, but it's not stable enough yet. So for this tutorial, I am running Unity on a Windows virtual machine. But fuck Windows. <laughs> so let's start. Uh, we basically need only three things for this tutorial. We need our files, we need our web browser, and we need Unity. So let's open our files. And what I want my application to do is, when I scan this cute squirrel with the camera, I want this Confused Travolta video to be displayed in augmented reality. So let's do it. Let's open our web browser and we go to developer.vuforia.com and we create an account, we activate it, etc, etc. And once we're ready, we go to downloads. And we want to download this Vuforia 5 SDK, this one right here. But we don't want to download this because we need the video playback feature and that feature is in samples. So let's go to samples. And if we go to advanced topics, we can see the video playback feature right here. And the Vuforia 5 SDK is included in these advanced topics. So we do not need anything else. This is all we need. So we download it for Unity. And I agree and we save it. So we can do other things while this downloads because my internet sucks. So what we need to do now is to create an app and to get a license key. So if we go to develop, we click on add license key, application name squirrel because I like squirrels and device mobile license key starter and next. We confirm and now we have our app and if we open it, we can see our license key right here and we're gonna use this license key inside Unity but not right now. What we wanna do right now is to create targets. So let's go to target manager and just ignore these empty databases because for some reason Vuforia doesn't allow me to uh, remove empty databases. So add database and squirrel type device and we create it. So let's open that database and we want to create targets now. So add target, type single image and file squirrel with uh, 100, name squirrel and we add it. All right, so now we have our data set uh, with our target right here and this rating right here shows you how good or how bad your image is for uh, image recognition and as we can see this squirrel is not very good because it doesn't have many edges but for an, a simple application like this one it's, it's okay we, we don't care so we can download the data set for unity of course and uh, we save it into our folder save. Alright, so now we have our dataset package, which we're going to import from Unity. And we need to uh, extract the previous one, of course. So let's uh, extract it. And we only need the video playback, we don't need the other ones. So let's copy this here, because it's going to be easier for us to import from Unity. Alright, so now we can open Unity. And we create a new project, Squirrel, of course, and 3D, and create project. All right. 
So the first thing we'll, we want to do is uh, to remove the main camera and the light because um, we don't need a regular camera. We need uh, an augmented reality camera and we do not need light. So what we need to do now is to import our packages. So let's go to assets, import package, custom package, and here we have our two packages and let's import them one by one. So let's import the data set first. Import. And now we can import the SDK with the video playback feature. Which is a big package. Import. Squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. Squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. All right. So the first thing we want to do is to add uh, an augmented reality camera. So we go to Vuforia, Prefabs, and we add the AR camera or augmented reality camera. And we can uh, put it uh, at the origin of the scene, but um, it, that wouldn't be a problem. We don't care about the position for this app. So what we want to do now is to add the app license key here, because otherwise our app won't work. So let's go to the Euphoria website and we go to license manager. We open our app and we copy this app license key. We paste it here. And we need to enable the stereo cameras. The stereo cameras are basically a split screen for uh, the Google Cardboard. Because if we don't activate this, we would have a single camera and it would be a, a, a simple, a single camera app. And that's not what we want. We want uh, a Google Cardboard app. So we enable the stereo cameras and we need to load our data set uh, here. So we load it and we activate it and we don't need to load the other one because it's just a sample and we don't need it. All right. So now we need to add a target. So in the same folder, Vuforia prefabs, we add the image target to our scene. So now you see it, it's there. And we have to select our data set here, the squirrel. Oh wow, uh, that's a huge squirrel. Um, we can change the scale. And now you can see the squirrel there. But as I said, uh, we don't care about the size. And now we need to replace this default trackable event handler script because we need to add a video here. And if it was not a video, we could leave this script here. But we need another script. So let's remove it. Remove component. And we add a new component, scripts, and trackable event handler. That's the one we want. Alright, so now we need to add the video inside this image target. So let's go to Vuforia Video Playback, Prefabs, and Video. And let's put it inside the image target. Alright, so now you can see the video is there. And we are almost done. We need to uh, select Autoplay, of course, and we need to give it a path. This path, the video that we want to, to, to put here, needs to be in the streaming assets folder. And as you can see, we have two files here, two sample files, but we don't want those. We need our Travolta video. So uh, if we do right click, we can import new asset and we import our Travolta video. And now it's there. This is an MP4 file, so we can go to video now and just give it the path, travolta.mp4, 
Oh, I almost forgot that. All right, so we are done now. Um, we just need to build it. Uh, so we go to File, Build Settings, and Android. And we need to go to Player Settings because we need to give it a company name and a product name. It's very important, otherwise um, your app won't compile. So, um, Squirrel Company, Squirrel Product. And we need to change it here as well. This is very important. So, Squirrel Company and Squirrel Product. All right. So let's build it. Squirrel APK and let's save it. All right. So uh, the next part of this video will be from the Android device camera. So see you there. So as you can see, our app is already working. So if we try to scan the Squirtle from here, it shouldn't work because it's too far. But as we get closer and closer, it works. There is our confused Travolta and he's very confused.